Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial on how to create a service layer in your React application. So a service layer is a layer in your application that provides a set of reusable services that can be used by the rest of your application. In this tutorial, we will cover the best practices for creating a service layer and you will see an example how to implement one in your own React project. So this is a React application created using the npx create react app command. Now I want to talk about this service layer before we start coding. So normally the service layer should not contain any business logic. It should only contain the code which is necessary to call external APIs or maybe to perform some other low level tasks. Also in our service, we are going to use dependency injection, which is just a software design pattern that allows you to pass dependencies such as a service object into the object as an argument rather than hard coding them. So this makes it easier to test the object and make the code more flexible and maintainable. Now, before wasting any more time, let's get started with our code. To create the service, the first thing that I will do is I will create a folder in this SRC folder with the name of services and inside it, I am going to create a new file with the name to do service.js. Now this to do service is going to have two functions or two methods. One of them is going to be to fetch the to do's and another one is going to be create the to do's. I will be using this fake REST API to get and add a new to-do. So the endpoint of the API is going to be this one, to-dos. So let's just copy it for now. Now to create this to-do service, first I'm going to create a new class for it. And let's just call it as to-do service. Let's first create a constructor. Now because we are going to use dependency injection, the dependency that we are going to inject is going to be the HTTP client that we will be using to invoke the API. So this dot HTTP client equals to HTTP client. Normally when we have to inject the dependency, then we use a constructor argument. It will mean that when we will be creating a new instance from this class, then we have to provide the dependency to the constructor so that the class instance can then use it. Now it's time to add the two functions to get the to do's and to create a new to do. So to get the to do, I will create a new function. Let's just call it get to do's and let's add a try block. Now inside this try block, we will be using this HTTP client to create a get request. So const response equals to await this dot HTTP client dot get and then we have to provide the fake to do's API URL which is this one so I'm just going to copy it and I will paste it over here in the next line we can simply return the JSON returned from the response so just call return response dot JSON in the catch block we can catch any errors so catch error and then let's just log to the console any error actually let's use console.error okay and let's also throw this error all right so this is the function to get the to do's and to create the function to create a new to do we will have to accept the to do as an argument and then we also have to rename this function to create a single to do now we have to make some changes to this code instead of get we will be using post and the rest of this stuff is going to be same and of course we also have to provide this to do as an argument so you will see the implementation of this http client in a moment finally we will just export this uh, this to do service so export default to do service okay so now it's time to implement the http client that we are going to inject into our to do service for that i will create a new folder inside this src folder and i'm going to call it service clients 
So we will be creating a service client which will be using the fetch API to make the get and post requests. So I'm just going to name this file as fetch client.js. Now inside it, I'm just going to create a new object with the name fetch, sorry, fetch client. And this is going to contain the implementations for the get and post functions that we were using in our to do service. These ones get and post. So remember get function accepts the URL as an argument and post function accepts the URL as well as the object, the to do object, or it can be any other object that we want to post. So inside this fetch client, we will create async get. This will accept the URL and this will return await fetch and then URL. It's very simple actually. And now we will create async post. This is going to accept the URL and the body. And inside this function, we will return await fetch URL but we will also have to provide options so the method will be post the body is going to be json.stringify and the body that we have provided as an argument and then we have to provide the headers so inside headers we will provide the content type which will be application and then json and that is pretty much everything we need to do for the implementations of get and post functions now we just need to export this as a default module so export default fetch client okay so now to use this service and to inject this http client into our service we will need a component and for that let's create a new folder in the src folder with the name components inside it i will create a new file with the name to do list.jsx and i will use rafce shortcut to create the functional component boilerplate now we need to import the to do service and we also need to import the fetch client Apart from this, we will be needing the use state hook and we will also need the use effect hook. So the first thing that I will do over here is I will create a state property for the to do's. So to do's and then set to do's equals to use state. Initially, this will be an empty array and then we will create a new effect callback when the component loads for the first time so let's create a new object for the to do service to do service equals to new to do service which we have imported and as an argument we have to provide the fetch client as the dependency for this constructors argument now we will fetch the to do's so const fetch to do's first we will create a function actually an async function so async and inside it let's add the try and catch blocks to handle any error so console dot log error although we are already handling the error in our to do service but we were also throwing that error from over there so we can capture or catch the error in this catch block and now let's fetch the to do's so const to do's equals to await to do service dot get to do's when we have the to do's then we can simply set the to do's state property actually it's this one so set to do's and then we can provide these to do's so now we can call this fetch to do's function directly so we need to call this logic only once that's why we can place this function inside this use effect callback function now in the return block we simply have to return a button and the list of to do's and 
it is pretty straightforward so i'm just going to paste the code over here and i will explain to you what the code is going to do so we have a button which when clicked will call a function with the name handle create to do and we will provide the to do object as an argument to this handle create to do function over here we are creating an unordered list of all the to do's that we fetched when the component loaded for the first time so we are just calling the array.map function to create and return a new array and each item of the array is going to be a list item the implementation for this handle create to do function is going to be similar to this logic to get the to do's the only difference is that we will be accepting an argument for this function which is going to be the to do object and again like we did over here we will be creating a new service instance object while injecting the fetch client into the constructor function when the new to do object will be created on the server then we will just add it to the existing to do's list finally the only thing left is the code for app.js file over here i am just going to remove this header from over here and i will import the to do list component and then we will just render it over here so to do list and this is pretty much everything that we need to do so now i'm just going to open up the terminal by pressing control backtick and then entering the command npm start so you can see that our app is working this is the list of to do's which are being fetched using the service the to do service that we created and when this get function will be called then we will see the list of all the to do's now let's click on this create to do so if you remember when we were creating a new to do then we were adding it to the list of existing to do's so let's just browse to the bottom list so here is our new to do and that is how we can create a service layer in our react application while injecting the http client i hope that this tutorial has given you a good understanding of how to create a service layer in a react app and the best practices to follow by following these guidelines you can create a flexible and maintainable service layer that will make it easier to develop and test your application thanks for watching this video if you have any comments or questions please leave them in the comments section below bye for now and i will see you in the next one